welcome you again in the classes of evs academy in the last class we have seen already the calculation of confidence limit and we were discussing this particular formula especially at the last of the class here in this particular formula here you can see the application of t test is provided to you and application of z test as well here the application of t test we have already seen in the case of comparing the means of a different two population and the comparing the mean of the one population as well with the significant value whether it is significant or not depending on the null hypothesis and depending on the alternative hypothesis here this particular application that you can see in your screen this is for two different population so one for one population we have seen the formula where you use the formula t is equals to x bar minus mu in total mode and this divided by sigma divided by root n the standard error you can write down so this was for the single particular population when you have a single mean of that and the population mean of that particular sample here this particular application is only for those a uh, type of questions where two different populations are provided so two different populations are provided then you have to compare the mean of the two both population here and here in the place of mu you have to write down x2 bar so x1 bar minus x2 bar because two different population samples are present there divided by the sigma sigma is your again standard deviation but standard deviation of not any particular uh, population sample this is for the combined so combined standard deviation that we have already seen how to calculate that that particular formula you have to use here to calculate the sigma once you calculate the sigma then this multiplied by under root n1 multiplied by n2 divided by n1 plus n2 this all formula you have to use to get the t statistical or calculated value so once you get this tc t calculated value so again you have to similarly compare it with the t alpha value or tz value you can say so that is the table value or critical value so you have to calculate it with that particular value then only you can tell whether your null hypothesis is correct or alternative hypothesis is correct so remember this formula till date in the ugc examination they haven't asked any question from this particular two different population mean because solution can be very lengthy you have to first calculate the combined standard deviation then only you will calculate able to calculate the t value there that's why maybe they haven't asked they can ask in the examination also so remember the formula if they will ask so you can easily answer they can also provide you the combined standard deviation value as well so the calculation would be the less lengthy uh, as compared to the full question so on that way they can also ask you any question so that is the second application and the third application for the correlation coefficient so this is the correlation coefficient r r values i have told you this is in the range of minus 1 to plus 1 minus 1 is showing total negative correlation between the two variables plus 1 is showing the total positive correlation between the two variables what is the meaning of that the negative type of correlation of uh, the two variables is saying that if one variable is increasing another variable is continue decreasing the positive type of correlation or r value is showing that if one variable is increasing so other variable is also increasing if you look at the graph graph of the positive correlation would be like this if one is increasing this way another will also increase in this way negative type of graph would be this if one is increasing here you can see this is increasing so this will decrease or if this is increasing this will decrease so there is negative type of correlation so here we have to test we using the t test whether the correlation is significant or not so significant or not means you have to tell that whether you can say that the two variables are positively correlated or two variables are negative correlated any value near to 0 will tell you there is no correlation between the two variables so test the significance of the correlation you can use this particular t test here t is equals to r r is the correlation coefficient here divided by under root again 1 minus r square this is not r2 multiplied by under root n minus 2 this formula you have to use you will get the value of t 
compare that t value with the table value and then decide whether your null hypothesis null hypothesis here would say that your correlation coefficient is significant alternative hypothesis will tell that your correlation coefficient is non significant so by seeing the table value if it is less than the table value then we can say null hypothesis is true and if it is greater than the table value then we would say alternative hypothesis is true null hypothesis is rejected so i hope that portion is already clear to you and now we will uh, try some questions from this particular section from this particular application of the t stats let's see the question directly for a bivariate sample the correlation coefficient is 0.25 and it is found to be significantly different from 0 at 5% level of significance t table value 0.05 means 5% significance level that is provided to you already 1.645 so t value we have here very good and the r value we have here 0.25 and what is the minimum size of the sample n is asked here so these are the all things we have in the formula right itself so t here is equals to r divided by under root 1 minus r square r value is already we have and this is multiplied by under root n minus 2 t value is provided r is provided you have to just calculate the n by using this formula very easy one so let's try this particular thing if i put the values t means 1.645 here that is is equals to r that is 0 0.25 this is divided by under root 1 minus 0 0.25 square and here under root n minus 2 will be n minus 2 and n i have to calculate here so let's solve it so here this would be 1.645 is equals to 0 0.25 under root 1 minus 0 0.25 square so 0 0.25 square so 25 multiplied by 25 that is having 625 so here four decimal places we have to put before this 0 0.645 or 625 so this would be 0 0.0625 you can multiply 25 25 here this is 625 and because two decimal places were there, so one, two, three, and here another one I will put. And this would be 0 0.0625. And this is multiplied by under root n minus 2. Then this would be 1.645 is equals to 0 0.25. 1 minus 0 0.0625. So this is 1, 0, 0, 0. This is 0, 0, 6, 2, 5. We have to subtract it so this would be five this would be seven this would be three this is nine and this is zero so i can write down in under root this is 0 0.9375 now you cannot solve this particular unit so we will use any other thing here and this under root n minus 2 would be under root n minus 2 so now what i will do i will transfer this 0 0.5 to this left hand side so 1.645 this is divided by 0 0.25. This is equals to n minus 2 divided by 0 0.9375. And under root of all, I can write down like this. So this under root, this under root, I can write down both the things in a single under root. When I transfer this under root to the left hand side, so this would be simply transferred in a form of a square value. So here you can see this 0 0.25. So this is divided by 1.645. So here we know that 0 0.25, if it is multiplied by 6, so this would be 1.5 exactly. You can do that because 25 multiplied by 6 is 150. So that's why 0 0.25 multiplied by 6 would be near to 1.5. And this before, this numerator value is just above the 1.5. So I can take the value that is little more than 6, maybe 6.1, 6.2, 6.3. So here the value is a little bit. Uh, the difference here you can see from 1.5, this is 0 0.1 almost. So this would be around 0 0.4 difference or 0 0.3 difference. So I can take it the 1.645 divided by 0 0.25. That would be near to somewhere 6.3. 
So approximation you can do, you can take 6.2, 6.4, it is up to you. I am taking 6.3 is equals to this n minus 2 divided by 0 0.9375. And here, if I move this root square to the another side, this would be square now. So now the things are here, so easy. So this n minus 2 is equals to this 0 0.9375 will be multiplied to that amount. So 6 square value is 36. So 6.3 square value would be, and 7 square value is 49. So this would be near to somewhere 41, 40. I can take 41 here. And this is 41 or maybe a little more than 41. 6.3. Six point three we have here. Six point three square value would be forty or forty one forty. You can see here. So because thirty six we have forty one. I am taking no problem with that. This is multiplied by zero point nine three seven five. That value we have earlier here. Now this you have to just multiply. So forty one multiplied by zero point nine three. So this would be not much reduction. There would be only small reduction because this value is very close to one. You can see that this is 0 0.9375. So very close value to one you can see here. So almost there would be negligible effect of that particular thing. So, so this here is equals to n minus 2 is equals to somewhere 39 or 38 I can take. And this n is equals to 39 plus 2. And finally, n is equals to near to 41, 42, 43. If you look at the option of this particular question, only one value we have here, which is very close to our option. So because we have used very uh, huge approximation here, that's why we are not getting the exact answer. So our option or the answer is very close to the first option that you can see 43. If you do the exact calculation with the calculator, so maybe you will get the exact value of 43 as well. So that is how this question can be solved. So I hope this is easy to you, easy for you. In the perspective of solution, it is a bit difficult, but not that much difficult. If you know how to solve, if you know the method exactly, then you can easily solve it. So I hope this is clear to you. The nearest option of our answer is the 43, hence why the A is the right answer. If it is not clear, again, go back and repeat the same thing. Okay, I am moving ahead now.